The 13th time that we've raced here in Hamburg. What an absolutely gorgeous backdrop. About 11,000 amateurs will race over the weekend, but right now the best 65 men in the world. And as you can see, it's just sprint racing. So full on as hard as you can go. 750 meters of swimming, some great swimmers in the field. Actually 19 of the top 20 men in the world in this field. Henry Schumann from South Africa taking the pace out very quickly in the swim. That's Raphael just on his feet. These guys are going as hard as they can. Again, another great swim by Javier Gomez, a little bit further back to the Brownlee brothers, but there you can see Vincent Louis getting onto the bike. That's Brownlee just coming into our screen there a few seconds ago. Aaron Royal, the past under 23 world champion into that group. It's a group now of about 21 or 22 athletes, both the Brownleys into this group, but Richard Murray and Mario Mola have not made the lead bunch. So the swim once again being very costly. Remember last year, those two men were fourth and fifth, not able to get into the lead bunch. The Brownleys going very quick up front. Gomez into that bunch as well. They're really trying to get away. The French have three athletes in this lead group and back to the chase group. Richard Murray has tried a couple of times but they're just not able to make any inroads. About 28 to 35 seconds, the gap that has been oscillating. Connex from France trying to make a little bit of a breakaway right there from the lead group, but I don't think he's going to get away. Silva and Pereira also into the lead bunch. Shaw from Ireland. So it's a lot of the big names that we would recognize over 2014. And here you can see Johnny Brownlee just bolting off the front right now, trying to get away, but it didn't work. We still came into the transition zone with 18 men. The Brownlee brothers, Gomez, let's see who has the legs as they head off. In fact, Gomez, one of the slowest transitions that he's had in years. We found out later he thought there was one more lap to go, but he did bridge up. And Vincent Louis, who's been injured for a couple of years back in great form. Anyone who's followed this man's career knows that he's world class and over 5,000 meters, someone to be feared. Johnny Brownlee has not had a win in 2014 on the circuit yet. Alistair Brownlee not even on the podium. He's never won here in Hamburg in the past. But Gomez, the first to fall off the pace. Now Vincent Louis and the two Brownlee brothers. Look at to the right. Alistair Brownlee pushing the pace, trying to get away. Johnny Brownlee trying to come. Last year it was Johnny Brownlee out sprinting his brother to the finishing line. Vincent Louis trying to hang on. Gomez will be off the podium. Alistair Brownlee now coming back, the man who won the European Championships just a couple of weeks ago, just weeks now from the Commonwealth Games, and he's going to have it. He's pulling away. Vincent Louis looks like he's in the second place. It's Johnny Brownlee in third. Alistair Brownlee just digging deep, and he's going to have enough. But look at the effort by Vincent Louis. Johnny Brownlee will be third, but it'll be Alistair Brownlee claiming victory. Vincent Louis in between the Brownlee brothers. Gomez will be in fourth. What an incredible effort. These guys are absolutely wrecked. They ran just over 14 minutes flat for the five kilometer run. And the one race that he's not won in his career, Alistair Brownlee will now add Hamburg to his illustrious resume. What a big performance by the man from Great Britain as he gets ready for the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, well, one quite a sprint. 500, well, 500 meters is a sprint for me. So um, yeah, I mean, I knew it's probably safest to go a little bit of a way out and just try and kind of run the red legs off everyone with a, a big surge, and that's how it worked out. I'm pleased with that. I'm better than I was and getting back to my old self a bit, I think.